Hey guys, uh, welcome to your uh, general reading for um, Taurus. Uh, how, um, what is your life's purpose? So um, this is going to be for your December 2022. You could apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter signs. Um, in fact, any of your placements. So, um, so we're going to take a look and see, um, you know, how your journey is going regarding your life's purpose and then we'll finish off the read uh, to see uh, what your life's purpose is and how you could get there. So apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Taurus people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you uh, book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. All right, so let's get started, Taurus. Tell me about Taurus here. How is Taurus's journey going regarding their uh, life's purpose? How is um, Taurus's journey going regarding their life's purpose for December 2022 for Taurus. Okay, so we have the moon, Cancer, Pisces, energy, and the three of swords. You know, I feel like one of the life's purpose that you're dealing with here, you know, this is more so could be personal is overcoming fears overcoming uh, uh fears of getting hurt here okay you know um we have the three of cups here and the page of pentacles capricorn taurus virgo here you know um one of the things i'm getting here is that you know i feel like you guys have maybe have a hard time trusting people here because i feel like you get hurt a lot i feel like in maybe like even work situations i feel like you have a hard time trusting people and i feel like what happens is that when that happens i feel like you know, you could be stifling your progress when it comes to excelling or moving up in a work situation here. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo with the, uh, with the Page of Pentacles here. We have the Six of Pentacles here and the Hermit here. Virgo energy and the Hermit, um, uh, Hermit Virgo energy here, sorry. Um, so what I'm getting here is that Taurus, I feel like you guys spend a lot of time on your own. You know, I feel like in a good way here, because in this hermit mode, you're doing a lot of introspecting, self-reflecting here, meditating here. And I feel like you guys give a lot of time in spending time alone instead of spending time with other people here. Because I just feel like there's a lack of trust because you've been hurt so much here. Um, in per, you know, personally and perhaps in a work-life situation here too, the moon, we have the empress here, Libra Taurus. There you are right here. You know, I just feel like, you know, there are fears that you're not growing, you're not expanding here, or that you're having a hard time manifesting here. And I feel like, you know, one of the things I'm getting here is to really overcome these fears that you're holding on to or that you're facing here. Tell me about the Three of Swords. Why is the Three of Swords here? We have the Sun, Leo energy. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles. That's not the Three of Pentacles, the Three of Cups and the Eight of Wands. I feel like this is more personal. It's to work on finding that happiness, overcoming your pain, your fears here, okay? Um, you know, some for some of you guys, this might resonate with some of you guys, um, where, you know, perhaps you've had a hard time maybe getting pregnant or something like that, and that has affected your mood here or has affected, you know, your fears here too. I mean, there could have been, you know, miscarriages here. There could have been stillborn, like a stillborn situation, okay? The Page of Pentacles here and the world. Yeah, I, I just feel like there's an energy of needing to enjoy life more, sort of like live life in the moment here, okay? Uh, perhaps if you guys haven't done so yet, travel the world more, see what's out there, all right? Um, tell me about the uh, Six of Pentacles here and the Knight of Swords. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini here. One of the things I feel like, you know, 
due to your fears, pain, and trauma here that you've been through here, I feel like there's an energy of, you know, people pleasing here. And I feel like, you know, one of the things that you're doing right now is sort of taking a step back in doing that. Because, you know, I feel like, uh, you know, I feel like, you know, when that's happening, I feel like you're sacrificing a huge part of yourself and I feel like you don't want to do that here. So I feel like that's why you're in this hermit mode energy. Tell me about these uh, hermit here. The Hermit and the Knight of Pentacles here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is that, you know, you could be pursuing um, something that has to do with, you know, becoming perhaps like a spiritual advisor here or a, a spiritual teacher, you know, because I feel like when it comes to what's what your life life's purpose is, perhaps you do have a lot of spiritual knowledge that you learn and that you want to apply this to your life. Perhaps, you know, what you've been through, you want to apply it to your practice here to help others here too. Okay. Uh, tell me about Taurus and their life's purpose. What is their life's purpose here and how can they get to, uh, get to where they need to be for December 2022 for Taurus? All right, we have the three of pentacles here, lots of threes here in the chariot. You know, one of the things I am feeling here when it comes to your life's purpose, it's a, it's really important to plan, plan it out. And if you can work together with other people to help you get to where you need to be, you know, these individuals doesn't necessarily have to work together with you. It could be, you know, they, they, they you know, it, it could be just a support system, you know, having that support system. We have the chariot. Uh, cancer energy. We have the Hierophant here, Taurus energy. There you are right here, Taurus. We have the Fool, Aries energy. Also Aquarius energy. What else do we have here? And the Four of Cups and the Two of Swords. Very interesting. Look how peaceful that Two of Swords energy is. It seems like, you know, there's an energy with the Two of Swords here and the Four of Cups. I just feel like you're seeking some sort of mental clarity here. You know, I do feel like you're kind of like really tapped into a high frequency here to sort of like get to where you need to be, okay? You know, I do feel like eventually, you know, that risk, you know, overcoming your fears, you will take that big risk here, okay? Uh, just so that you could, you know, achieve what you want to achieve here for yourself. Taurus, you guys are incredibly spiritual. You know, this, there's something that I could do here regarding that, okay? We have the... Uh, Nine of Pentacles, Virgo energy, pre empress energy, and the Three of Pentacles here. We have the Chariot here and the Queen of Pentacles. There you are right here. Whatever this is, you know, you know, one of the things I'm getting here, um, Taurus, some of you guys could be documenting, you know, your trips and stuff like that, and you could be making money off that, okay? Um, you know, one of the things I'm getting here is that maybe that, that could be a part of your spiritual journey is to go to go to these different places and sort of like tap into the surrounding energies around you here. The Hierophant and the Six of Cups. Tell me about the Fool here and the Two of Wands. Seems like a lot of you guys are caught in um, a fork in a road here. Seems like you guys have a hard time deciding what you want to do next. Do I stick with what I already know, you know? or move towards something new here. So I feel like you do have a decision to make here. Tell me about the Four of Cups, uh, the Nine of Cups, okay? Tell me about the Two of Swords here and the Two of Pentacles. We have a lot of twos here. So this is an indication to me that you're having a hard time making a decision here, okay? You know, I just feel like you're trying to get to a very stable and happy place here. I, I feel like you're trying to, regain some sort of control here because maybe there is a loss of control you know with the pain that you've been through here okay it, it just seems like maybe you know perhaps you know moving around traveling around a lot you know that this could be your path of finding enlightenment here too uh taurus okay let me see what else we have here we have justice your career brings fairness, protection, and others who need help. Spiritual teacher on the bottom of the deck here. Spiritual teacher, you heal your classes, seminars, and sessions. You heal with your classes, seminars, and sessions here. So, you know, I, I feel like there is an energy of like teaching people here, you know, 
or like sort of like helping people sort of seek their truth here no matter what the path is and I feel like you kind of like you are you know living that yourself too you're kind of like figuring your path out as you go here okay because I feel like there's an energy of kind of like showing this too like I said okay so um Taurus I hope that this was helpful I hope that this resonated if it did leave a comment down in the comment section below share this video like this video if you haven't done so yet subscribe hit the notification bell and I will speak to you guys in the next one all right thanks guys bye